everybody, and welcome back to week five, day four, and this is part two. This is going to be math and our let's find out a little extra one that we put in. So today is about taking apart, taking apart numbers 16 to 19. So we're going to take them apart. That means we already know how many we have, and we're going to take them apart. Now I put 16 counters on my magnet board here and just like you did on your problem solving, we're going to organize these. We're going to take them apart into 10 and some more. Now I could use a 10 frame, but I don't really need one any uh, all the time. I could just do it with objects. So find some objects that you want to use. They don't even need to be uh, two color, but if you made two color counters, Go ahead and use those, that would be great. So I'm gonna organize these now. I'm gonna put my red ones on this side and I'm gonna put my yellow ones on this side. I'm going to start making, putting them in a group together. I'm gonna to keep moving them until they are all in the right place. And this little guy needs to go over there and now I do not have these looking like a 10 frame, so I need to check and see how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yes, I did put 10 counters on this side, so this is my 10, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have 10 and six more. Now you can put your counters in a 10 frame, maybe you made one for yourself, and you made some ten, uh, two color counters, but you could also use just dimes and pennies and always make your pennies the 10 and then how many dimes do you need to make the number that you're trying for, okay? And so if you're gonna practice with real objects, that's a good way to practice. And you could do a lot of other numbers in the teens to practice taking them apart. All right, so take apart 16 to 19. That's our job today. And we want to do it in 10 and more. So I'm just going to choose a number that we didn't do. We didn't, we did 16 before. I am going to choose the number 18. All right, 18. Okay, and this stands for how many tens we have and this stands for how many more. So when I take apart 18, I need to fill up this 10 frame. Eight, nine, 10. And I need to write the number 10 because that 10 frame is full. And now I'm gonna have some more and this number tells me how many more. And I'm gonna put them in the other 10 frame. I'll do them in a different color and shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so that tells me how many are in the other 10 frame. 18 is 10 and eight more. So I'll write the number eight, okay? So this is pretty easy to do, not hard. And all of these inside are going to give you objects in the 10 frame, objects that you will know how what number to start with this is your target number for the first one in the example it's 16. they are outlining a 10 frame of that's full 10 so how many are in the first 10 frame 10 and one two three four five six and here is a line going around the outside of those 16 is 10 and six more. 10 and six more. So you can do that for 17 and 18 and do the same thing for this page. Do 19 and then two of them repeat. And on the back, it's a little different, but you've seen this before. We still have our target number and we're taking this apart. We're taking apart 18. Wow, we just did that on the front of our page. So you could go back and look at that example if you want to. 18 is, all right, and this means that we're gonna fill, we have to fill up the first 10 frame 
with our own objects, just like we did on the front, okay? So there's the 10, and then this tells us how many to put in the other 10 frame. And this time it's going to be eight, which Mrs. Rubel did not look to see. And this is the same as I did on the front, but that's okay, because it's a little bit tricky anyway. So we have 10 and eight more. But the tricky part is, just like we did on uh, the four, 11 to 15, this math sentence reads, 18 is, how many in this 10 frame? 10, and how many in this 10 frame? Eight. So we're writing our target number here for the sentence to start. 18 is, and then you're writing, how many are in this 10 frame? Always the first one first, the 10 has to go first, and then how many more, okay? So try the next one on your own. Now I wanted to show you this Let's find out because we did not put it in with any of the weeks, but if you've just gone to look at the issues, I thought this one was really funny. And it has um, litter bugs. It says, don't be a litter bug. What is a litter bug? A litter bug is someone who throws trash on the ground. So this, let's find out, is full of litter bugs and they are throwing trash on the ground. We don't wanna be litter bugs. But I thought it was funny because um, they kind of look like silly monsters too. Okay, so I'm gonna move it so that this page is right in the middle, okay? This crab needs a clean home. Stop littering, litter bugs. So there's a litter bug throwing a plastic bottle. Here's a litter bug throwing apple on the ground. And this crab says, don't, I need a clean home. The crab lives on the seashore. Now remember, you can have them read this to you and let's find out. This deer needs a clean home. Where does the deer live? The deer lives in the forest. Stop littering, litter bugs. Oh my goodness, the litter bug is throwing a can and some paper on the ground. That's what a litter bug is. This frog needs a clean home. Stop littering, litter bugs. The frog lives in a pond. And the litter bug is throwing a bottle into the pond. Oh, froggy, look at that sad face. This sea turtle needs a clean home. Stop littering, litter bugs. And here's the litter bugs with a plastic bag and a bottle. And the sea turtle lives in the ocean. And sea is another word for ocean. So that's why he's called a sea turtle. And we need to stop littering our ocean. What's next? This squirrel needs a clean home. Stop littering, litter bugs. The squirrel lives in a park. You know a lot of squirrels live near our school too. And so we need to keep their home clean. This litter bug is throwing his lunch and his empty can on the ground. Stop littering, litter bug. I like this litter bug a lot. He's kind of a triangle shape with the two eyes sticking up. His hands out is crazy. This lizard needs a clean home. Stop littering, litter bugs. The lizard lives in the desert. And look at that litter bug with all his litter. And I don't know about you, but I have a lot of lizards in my backyard. And the other day when we were doing our seed planting video, I scared one and it ran out. Do you remember that? If you haven't watched the seed planting videos, go ahead and watch those too. These kids need a clean playground. Stop littering, litter bugs. And there's our litter bug, and he is throwing a banana peel and a trash on the ground, and the kids want to have a clean playground. But when I read this, I was thinking about all the times that people have cleaned up the playground when they found trash on the playground. And I bet 
sometimes trash even blows into your own yard or is caught by your fence or something. And so that is something you could do in your own backyard or right around your house is you could look and see, is there litter? Was there a litter bug at your house? And you could pick up some litter. Um, so find the litter bugs in all the pictures and you could circle them or you could even do an art project with some of your paper that you've collected. Maybe you have some funny colored paper. Maybe you want to make a funny litter bug and co copy one of these. I am sure going to do that because it looks really fun. And that's all I have for you for day four. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time.